Soon, Knoxville leaders will decide whether a downtown parking garage can be demolished. Prior Brown Garage set the standard for parking garages across the nation. But for years, it's been empty, deteriorating in the heart of Knoxville. That is where reporters Grace King and Elizabeth Sims take us in tonight's Abandoned Places. In the 1920s, downtown Knoxville filled with people traveling for business and for leisure. Historian Jack Neely says they all arrived the same way. They rode the streetcar into downtown. People didn't expect to get to leave their car around downtown. They would, even rich people rode the streetcar. Everyone rode the streetcar until a man known as Knoxville's horse guy created a new kind of stable. Pry Brown was, was well known as the horse guy. He loved horses and he hated cars, but uh, he, was, he was adaptable he, and he was a businessman. In 1925, Pryor Brown began building one of the country's first parking garages. So why not build a, a, a parking garage instead of a livery stable? And it's kind of like the 20th century version of a livery, livery stable in a way, a parking garage. It was more than just a place to park. It helped modernize downtown. By 1929, Pryor Brown Garage housed a taxi service, handled freight from the nearby railway and delivered mail for the post office. It also boasted retail spaces, a standard today considered revolutionary at the time. It's been used as kind of a model uh, by architects who to have pictures of it. Back when it was functional before they closed it, uh, they architects used pictures of it to show how parking garages should work. Cars drove in and out of the garage until 2013. At that point, a structural engineer said the repair of the garage would not be feasible due to the cost, and its owners applied for a demolition permit. But preservationists intervened. This may be, uh, as far as I know, uh, the oldest or one of the oldest parking garages in America. Plans to redevelop the historic structure into a mixed-use residential building never came together. In the decades since, the garage has continued to slowly sag, with its roof collapsing piece by piece, first in 2015, then in 2021, and again in 2022, as uncovered in a 10 News investigation. Now, the new year may seal the once modern marvel's fate. Prior Brown Garage, the applicants requested a demolition permit for this property yesterday. Um, the building is subject to, and if, if y'all aren't familiar, we have in our code a 60-day delay of demolition for historic properties. The 60-day clock began ticking on December 14th, and soon city leaders will make their decision. Will this horseman stable remain parked in downtown, or is it time for a new vision? It's been a, a kind of a, a, a sad case of, of something that could have been, uh, could have been something useful and something memorable and something made you know to last into the future and that probably won't be now so well today is the final day of the city's 60-day demolition delay so we are expecting a decision soon city records show it is currently under review right now online we have a closer look at the garage's history including photo galleries and drone video you can also find out more about historic buildings throughout east tennessee in our Abandoned Places series on our YouTube channel and the WBIR app.